So after the TC Barlow video, I said I was going to slow down a little bit. And I had every intention of doing that, at least slowing down on like Great Eastern Cutlery Knives, because they're kind of hard to get right now. Um, but yeah, but then like pretty much a couple of days after I posted that video, uh, this got announced. And this is the Urban Jack, um, which is a, another 15 uh, boys knife. And it's got this cool little lanyard loop here. Of course, it's got the regular... Um, boys knife spear blade with this I guess he's a barber guy here his name's urban jack I suppose or probably just jack um you know he's got a fancy little hairdo and a beard beard there uh pretty cool etch I have to say uh I really like the weird etches that great eastern cutlery does and the weird knives which is why I got this one and then the other blade is a comb for your uh, beard, beard refuse removal tool, I believe is what they're calling this. At least that's, yeah, it's the BRR. As I say, that's what they were calling it on the beer and sausage knife. Speaking of the beer and sausage knife, the action on this comb is a lot better. I have to say, it also looks like the comb is quite a bit thicker than it was on the beer and sausage knife. Um, but yeah, I like when Great, Great Eastern Cutlery does these, uh, different knives or like weird knives that we wouldn't, we wouldn't consider to be like a traditional, traditional knife, I guess, like a traditional pattern, like the beer and sausage knife. I love that. Uh, the main reason I love that is because it had a fork on it, which makes eating stuff, you know, out of a can and stuff while I'm hiking going to be a lot easier which is why I wanted that knife so bad. And I just wanted this one because I thought it was kind of cool. And after all, I do have a beard. Um, and occasionally, you know, you get food stuck in it or you just want to comb it, especially in the uh, days now where, with the face coverings. It really gets the beard all out of control sometimes. It's got the Urban Jack here right in the shield. Um think they've used this shield before but with different stuff in it obviously shields not fit amazingly I'll be able to tell here there's some slight gaps between the cover material and the shield not the end of the world or anything other than that the knife's completely perfect like you would expect from Great Eastern Cutlery um, and this I think Judging from what some other people said on the Great Eastern Cutlery group on Facebook is apparently like one of the best fit knives that they've done recently. Although I think pretty much all their knives are fit really well. There might just be the slightest gap and I don't think that's a gap. I think that's just a height difference. Um, of course, these are all steel, steel bolsters, steel liners stuff this one does have brass pins though and i think the shield's probably nickel silver but i don't know that for sure um lanyard hole's kind of cool well, will i put a lanyard on it i haven't really decided yet i've kind of gotten away from putting lanyards on pocket knives um but yeah i lucked out on this because like i said great eastern cutlery knives are kind of hard to get right now i keep hoping that the that the uh, market will crash, I guess would be the words for it. And that, you know, Great Eastern Cutlery Knives will become more widely available again. And secondary market prices won't be as insane as they are currently. But I don't know if that's going to happen. And it's certainly not going to happen anytime soon. Um, but I lucked out. I got in on the collector knives reserve system for this knife. And there were two different versions. He just did a reserve for whatever one you can get. And I really did want the green jig bone version because that one looked awesome. And I think they were calling it a spring green jig bone, which, I mean, I mean my car is the color spring green. So that would have been kind of cool. But I couldn't get in that one. I got the email like, I didn't see the email for like 45 minutes. I was in the middle of something. I think I was playing a video game or something. So I missed the email. Um, 
but I got in and uh, this was still available. And, you know, I like my card, I just not as much as I like Jigbone. Uh, really nice canvas micarta here. I like the I like olive drab green color to it. And, you know, it looks really nice. You know, rather smooth micarta. Um, you know, knife put together really well. Just like you would expect from Great Eastern Cutlery. I only carried it one night so far. Uh, I've been really carrying my Case Copperhead. Um, so I've only carried this like one night so far, but you know, it seemed to go in the pocket and come out of the pocket just fine. I know some people were talking about this messing up their pocket. Um, so, you know, maybe I'll end up carrying it in a slip or something. Although probably not, because usually whenever I start doing that, I don't continue doing it. Um, but yeah, just a really nice example of a interesting uh, new pattern, kind of. From Great Eastern Cutlery. I mean, it's not a pattern because of the patterns, the 15, but it's a different, or wait a minute, it's the frame, the 15. I think it's, they call it a frame. So this would be a pattern, I guess. I'm not exactly sure the wording there, but it's a new uh, blade combination for the 15. And, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. I really like that they're doing all these uh, weird knives. This will probably be my last like uh, new Great Eastern Cutlery knife. I did get one off of eBay here, which will be in a video here soon. Um, but that's not a new Great Eastern Cutlery knife. That one's been out for a while, since 2017. Um, so this is going to be my last new Great Eastern Cutlery knife probably for a while. Because I didn't get in on the reserves for the 85s with the cap, cap lifter, which means I'm not going to get one. And I didn't get in on the reserves for the 38 Whittler, unfortunately, because I would have really liked to get one of those. But I didn't get, on, get in on the reserves, so I'm probably not going to be able to get one. So this is probably going to be the last Great Eastern Cutlery Knife for a little while, other than the one that I just got off of eBay a little while ago. But like I said, that one's from 2017. Um, so yeah, so expect to see probably some more case knives. Maybe some, well, there's going to be one Shat and Morgan, but maybe some more Shat and Morgans. Um, and other than that, I don't really know. I know Case has some interesting knives coming out this year, so I'll probably buy a few Case knives. And hopefully I have a overall good experience with them. Um, with my copperhead, it wasn't the best, but I mean, it's a usable knife. So I've just kind of been rolling with it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get off before I continue to ramble randomly about stuff. And this was the video on the Great Eastern Cutlery Urban Jack, which is a pretty neat knife. And that's going to be it for this video. And I hope you guys have a good day.